Hi, and welcome to the video which shows you how to integrate your email with Zoho CRM. So why should you integrate your email? One, you can centralize all of your information. Two, you can associate these emails directly with the leads, contacts, and potential pages. Three, you can share your email correspondence with other users. And four, you can combine multiple mail accounts. Let's go ahead and set up a sample email account using the Zoho Mail add-on and the available POP3 configuration. The first thing you need to do is click on Setup and click on Email Settings. On the next screen, click on Add New Mailbox. Add POP3 account. A pop-up window will now be displayed. The first field is your display name. This will be what you will call your mailbox in the CRM. Now type in the email address that you will be integrating. Next, type in the incoming server and port number information. If you do not know this information, you can either check under your mail settings or contact your mail administrator. Next, type in your username and password. If you want more information on setting up this POP3 account, refer to our help documents. For this video, I will choose to leave the messages in the server. Click on Test Account. The next window is to set up your outgoing server information. Choose Custom SMTP if your mail is not hosted by Zoho. Fill in the rest of your outgoing server information. Type in your username and password one more time and click on Create Account. If you have a lot of emails in your existing server, it may take some time to download all of them. Some of the features available now are you can send emails and receive emails directly from the leads, contacts, or potential modules. You can send mass emails by creating a custom view. You can view new incoming customer emails via the mail magnet on the top right. And lastly, you can view all of your general emails in the Emails tab. Go ahead and click on the Emails tab, and here you will see all of your emails. Now let's take a look at how to send emails directly from the CRM. On the Home tab, you have a follow-up task to complete, so go ahead and click on the task. Now click on the lead's name that is related to this task. Remember, you can only send emails directly from the leads or the contacts page. Now on the leads page, you can either scroll down to the email section and click on the link that says send mail, or on the top right under quick actions, the same send mail link is available as well. When you click on send mail, a pop-up window will allow you to either manually type the email or choose an existing template. You may also add attachments or images to your email. Once you are done, just click on the send mail button. It looks like a customer has responded to an email. You can see this notification via the mail magnet on the top right. You can reply to this email directly from the mail magnet pop-up itself. This saves you time from having to revisit the leads page. Click on the email and then click on reply. Type in your email. Once you are done with your email, go ahead and send it. Notice you can also add a task at this point. You can navigate back to the leads module and see the emails. Go ahead and click on the leads name. Now scroll down to the email section. Select the correct mailbox. Click on the arrow and you can view the entire thread. If you have downloaded the Zoho CRM mobile app, you can also send and receive emails from there. Let's go back and take a look at some other mail settings. Click on Setup, Email Settings. Here, you can choose the default mailbox or add an additional mailbox. For each mailbox, you can change the sharing settings. By default, your mailbox is set to private so that only you can view your emails. You can change this to public sharing, which means all users can see your emails, or record level sharing, where you can select which leads or contacts emails are shared and viewed by others. As the administrator, you will probably want to lock the configuration so that users cannot change the settings. This is found under Setup, Users and Permissions, Zoho Mail Add-on Users. The backup option allows you to save all of your previous communication if a user has been deactivated. This is helpful if a user either leaves your company or moves to a different department. I hope you found this video helpful.